Consider the arrangement shown in the figure below. Assume that the resistance is equal to 6 ohms and the length is equal to 1.2 meters and a uniform 2.9 Tesla magnetic field is directed into the page. At what speed should the bar move to produce a current of 0.5 amps in the resistor? So first of all, by Ohm's law, we know that the EMF is equal to the, the current times the resistance. And we also know that the EMF is equal to the number of turns times the change of the magnetic flux over time. And we can define magnetic, the change of magnetic flux. Change of magnetic flux is equal to the change of B times A times the sine of theta. In this case, the sine of theta is going to be 90 degrees constantly, so it cancels out to 1, so it's the change of B times A. You'll notice in the field that it says that it's a uniform magnetic field. So the magnetic field doesn't change. So the change of flux, change of magnetic flux is going to equal B times the change of A, because A is the only thing that can change. Now we're going to look at the area real quick. The area of this circuit we have this constant length on both sides and then we have this length that changes as the thing moves. So the change, the change of area is equal to the length times the change of x. So the change of x being x in this, x is this variable right here, that direction. I'm going to define that as x. So if I, if I define that variable, if I say that the, the the change of magnetic flux is equal to B times L times delta X. Then I can re, uh, reassign this variable up here. I can substitute for, for delta phi B, for this delta flux. So the EMF is equal to the number of turns times B L delta X over T we know that there's only one turn, so that cancels itself out. And we also, you see whenever we get this, uh, this variable delta x over t, that's equal to the velocity. So it's the velocity of this thing. So we can, we can redefine this as equal to b times l times v. And we want to solve for the velocity, how fast does it have to move. So what we'll do is we'll take, uh, we'll divide by BL, so we get the EMF over the magnetic field times the length is equal to the velocity. Now I know what this variable is and this variable is, but I don't have, uh, they didn't give me EMF, so I gotta go back to the very first equation, Ohm's law, E is equal to I times R. I can substitute because I am given the, uh, the current and the resistance, so I can say that the velocity is going to equal the current times the resistance over the magnetic field times the length. And when I plug that in uh, to my equation, I get uh, 0 0.82069 uh, meters per second. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.